For the mason jar DIY, we're going to need, of course, a mason jar that I got from Marshalls. And then just this soap dispenser from the dollar store. So as you can see, I've already drilled a hole on my mason jar, but we will get to that in a little bit. So I marked where I wanted uh, the hole to be, which is, you know, it has to be in the middle, of course. So I just grabbed a hammer, or in this case, I'm having my husband do it for me, a hammer and a nail. So he's just poking a hole, and then if you have a drill, it'll be much easier So um, and much faster. So drill a hole in that, just like so. So of course at first it's not going to fit, your pump is not going to fit, but just try to um, measure, see if you know how far you want to get in there. Make sure you just work little by little because you don't want it to be um, too, the, the hole to be too big. You want it to be like really snug in there. So yeah, as you can see my husband is trying to um, work on it little by little. If you have like a, a bigger drill, drill bit than what we have, it'll be much faster to do that. But yeah, so as you can see, just be patient with it, work with it little by little, and just um, try to fit in the pump um, every now and then just to make sure that you're not creating, you know, a bigger hole than you're supposed to be. So just try to be patient. Once you finally made your way through that hole and it, you know, make sure it fits snug in there, tight so it's not going to move, then the next step is um, just put the pump in and that is pretty much it. You've ha you have your um, mason jar soap dispenser. So pretty easy. For the cupcake stand, we are going to need this E600 glue that I got from the craft um, section. And then some of these uh, silver tray from the dollar store and some wine glasses, um, any shapes and sizes that you like. Um, pretty cheap also from the dollar store. For the next step over here, I'm just trying to figure out how I want my cupcake stand to look like. So I haven't glued this yet. I just wanted to see how it's going to look like. Um, you can totally skip this part if you want to. Um, just go ahead and glue it if you already know like in your mind what you want it to look like. Next, once everything is set up, you can now finally glue your... Um, your tray to the glasses that you have so just grab your E600 and start gluing make sure it is in the middle though um, some of mine didn't you know come off as I wanted it to be but I just went with it so but yeah I mean it's all gonna come together in the end anyways so once you have your glue make sure it's in the middle and then just hold it there for a little while um, so it'll stick and so it's not gonna budge so yeah and then once it's a little bit dry I'm just trying to clean up as I go because there's a lot of excess glue um, that are visible and I didn't want that so yeah I'm just cleaning up here and then I'm gonna do the next one the second tier which is the rectangle one. I just wanted to give it like a definition, you know, so it's not all circle. I think it looks better that way. So yeah, like once again, just grab your glue and then um, make sure you, you're not putting a lot of glue in there because um, it, it's, it tends to run a little. So just be very careful on that. That's... Um, what are the tips I can give you guys because I mean this is a trial and an error you know it's not perfect but um like I said at the end it you know it looked it looks so good so just like what I wanted it to look like but just make sure just be careful on that glue so again hold it in place for a little bit just make sure it's gonna stick in there and then just keep working on your on your tear and that should be it. You should have um, something that looks um, kind of like this. So, yeah. And finally, for our banner, we just use um, an already made banner that I got from Target. It's a burlap one and then some of the sticky letters that I got from Target as well. 
So first, what we're gonna do is, it's pretty easy because it's already made for you or you can make this. You can just buy a burlap and then just cut them if you like. But I mean, I like this one. I mean, it's only $3. This already made burlap that I got and it's already um, it already has a design on it. So all I do is stick in the letters, pretty much it. Um, pretty easy and simple, but if you guys want um, a tutorial on the banner itself, I already made one. It's a bunting one. Um, it's not the triangle shape one, but I mean the concept is pretty much the same thing. So yeah, so here I'm just uh, taking out the sticky letters and just putting them in a one by one on each um, burlap banner thingy. And this one is for a baby shower, so it's going to say baby shower. And then I'm just going to put my friend's name on another burlap banner. This is the finished product and I'm very happy how they turned out. And if you guys enjoyed this DIY, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on my next video. Bye!